So a couple weeks ago, I got a message from my good friend, Ken G, asking if I wanted to attend a data content creator meetup in Austin, Texas. And I gave him an immediate yes. I was so excited. And in this video, I'm going to give you a behind the scenes pass to this trip, how I felt, what we did, and get to know a little bit of the other content creators. So ready? Here we go. So the trip started off with me waking up at 5.30 a.m. so I could be at the Salt Lake International Airport by 6.30 a.m. for my 7.50 flight. Said goodbye to my wife, Haley, and went inside the airport. Then I got a sad text message saying my first flight was delayed by three hours. So I walked to the airport, grabbed a bite to eat, sat down, and got some work done. The semester just ended for my MIT data certificate students, so I was working on grading their last assignments, as well as working on some content about data science projects for my own course. Then I hopped on my first plane, which was Salt Lake City to LAX. After landing, had some more time to get a little bit more work done, grabbed some Panda Express, and I was super excited to see my fortune cookie, but I had no fortune, so I was super sad. Then I hopped on the next plane, which went from LAX to Austin, and I'm finally here in Austin. I'm at this house. I hope it's the right house. Otherwise, it's gonna be really awkward if I'm just going up to the wrong house. It was the right house, but my phone died, so unfortunately, I didn't really do any vlogging that night. Good morning. It is the morning of day two. This is the house we're staying at, and I have to catch you up on a lot of stuff. Got to the front door and everyone was having dinner. We had steaks last night. Got to meet everyone for the first time in person, and it was super fun. Everyone was super kind, kind of just chilled, had a good time, listened to some music, played some games, stuff like that. It was a lot of fun. Woke up this morning and I just got to work, cleaned up a little bit, and uh, now Ken and Luke are shooting a video, and I'm going for a run. And while I go on that run, I thought it would be a good time to introduce you to everyone who was at this event. So first up is Ken G, but before I explain who Ken is, and honestly, you don't need that explanation, you already know who he is, I wanted to say that I did have the opportunity to shoot some awesome clips with nearly every single one of the content creators at the house. And I'll be posting those videos on my YouTube channel very soon over the next few weeks. So if you aren't already subscribed, now would be a great time to do so to make sure you don't miss out on this awesome content that's coming your way. So Kenji was there as well. He does a myriad of different things, but you probably know him best from his amazing data science YouTube channel and his podcast, Ken's Nearest Neighbors. And Ken's exactly the same guy you see behind the camera, except he's a little bit funnier in real life, to be honest. And he actually crossed the 200K subscriber mark on YouTube while we were in Austin, so that was really fun to celebrate that with him. Next up was Luke Bruce, and you've probably seen his YouTube channel all about data analytics. Luke is one of the most down-to-earth people I've ever met. Seriously, he's just the most Southern charm guy, and he has an amazing story about living on a submarine and becoming a data analyst. I love meeting him, and I can't wait to do more with him in the future. Hopefully, we can collaborate a little bit. Next up is Nick Wan, and Nick is known for his amazing Twitch streams. They're so fun and crazy. He does over three amazing hours of just streaming all about data science content and the data world. And honestly, you just kind of have to experience this. So definitely check out his Twitch channel. I also love his short clips on his YouTube channel where he discusses the stuff that happens in his Twitch streams and it's really good. I had a fun time being on Nick's stream right here in this video, uh, although his chat does scare me a little bit. They're a lot of fun. Of course, Shashank was there. You've probably seen his YouTube channel before where he covers the life as a data analyst and all things data analytics. And Shashank is honestly one of the friendliest and most knowledgeable people I've ever met in the data world. I mean, seriously, the dude knew so much about history and facts and data. Definitely a good person to subscribe to and to learn from. Makiko was also there and you may have not seen her YouTube before and that's because, well, she just started it, but it's going to be great. She is an amazing data transition story by taking a boot camp, and is extremely knowledgeable in all things machine learning ops, which is pretty much the hottest topic in data science right now and will be the focus of her YouTube channel. She's awesome, she's kind, so let's go ahead, help her out, learn from her, give her a subscribe on her channel, and be amazed by her machine learning ops knowledge. Next was Ajay. You may have not heard of his name before, but you've probably seen his YouTube channel, and that's because he's better known as Code Emporium on YouTube. Now, Ajay is extremely concise, has extremely great technical videos, all about data science, machine learning, that type of stuff. You should check them out for sure. And on top of that, he has a keen sense of fashion, a great dancer, and even works at one of the coolest sneaker sales companies in the world. Hunter Kempf was also there. He's an ambassador for Z by HP, and he focuses on analytics in cybersecurity. He was super nice and super smart as well. Definitely want to check him out. 
Next was Seattle Data Guy. He no longer lives in Seattle. His real name is Ben Rogajan. And my takeaway from Ben is hard work. The dude is not only a genius, but super hardworking. He's running his own data engineering consulting business now and just straight killing it. He also has an awesome data engineering channel that you should check out on YouTube and be sure to subscribe because it has so much good stuff. Next was Ian Greengross. He's actually a sports lawyer who has recently teamed up with the data science YouTube community to help contract sponsor deals. And he's been learning Python and data science as well, which is really awesome. He was a really nice guy and really funny and honestly kind of felt like my uncle. It was awesome. And last but not least is Tina Huang. I didn't get any great footage with Tina, but Tina's so awesome. She has an amazing YouTube channel with over 300,000 subscribers covering data science and productivity. And they're honestly super action packed with great insight and awesome information that you can actually do something with. Tina is seriously just so quiet and so nice and so easy to get along with. I loved getting to meet her in person. The rest of day two was pretty much spent sitting around this giant counter in the kitchen and doing work together, hanging out, chatting, giving each other content ideas and taking turns shooting videos together. So kind of doing collabs, which was a lot of fun. Since we were in Texas, we got some of that good Texas barbecue, went to a cool bar and watched some pickleball and enjoyed the Austin night lights. All right, it is day three. It's been really fun. You know, before coming, I, I'll be honest, I was a little bit nervous. I was a little bit intimidated by everyone, everyone here. Is so smart, has so many followers. And so I was a little bit nervous. I was a little bit nervous to come in all honesty. But everyone's been so welcoming and so nice. And I've been able to make some really cool videos and get to know a lot of these content creators in a better way. And so it's been really fun and I'm super glad I came. So I went for a run in downtown Austin just to enjoy how beautiful Austin was. And when I got home, I thought I'd take a look at seeing what everyone was doing to give you an insight to what these creators do all day. I came home from my run and asked everyone what they were doing. And this is what Hunter was doing. He was generating poems. Poems. Poem generator. Yeah, like a transformer. Very artsy. Luke was being really responsible and cleaning the dishes and putting them away. Thanks, Luke. Ken G was actually making breakfast sandwiches. And guys, they are so good. Ken is actually a really good cook. They were delicious. Are you asking me or the video? I'm asking you. Oh yeah, I'll take one. Mickey was working on her fashion projects. She is really smart when it comes to all things fashion and clothing. I don't understand a whole lot about it, but it was really cool to watch her do her thing. All right, Code Emporium, what are you doing I, right wait, now? Can, you oh, I'm just looking at myself, <laughs> trying to <laughs> try to see how I look and compare to Steve Jobs with my skull Salt? turtleneck. All right, Shashank, what are you doing right now? I'm uh, setting up for a video where I talk about chapter two of storytelling of data. All right, Sale Data Guy, what are you doing right now? Mm, reading comments. And, and, and eating. Uh, kimchi, egg, and rice. We did a live stream to celebrate Ken crossing 200,000 subscribers, and it was an amazing live stream, one of my favorite parts. And then Shashank spilled something at the end. Oh, <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Later that day, we had a great night at a Korean barbecue place that had delicious food. I mean, just listen to this. What is, is it not the coolest part is they actually had robot waiters that brought you your food, and I thought that was just insane. I had never seen that before. Then we headed home and called it a night. It's been fun. It's been awesome. It's really been like so fun to like get to know everyone and see like their in life personalities, although most of their in life personalities are pretty much exactly who they are online. And as I said earlier in the video, I was actually like, pretty nervous and pretty scared. Uh, to come to this event, but I'm super glad that I did because it's been really fun. Everyone's been super nice and I feel like I've learned a lot and gotten a lot out of the uh, out of the experience. So sadly, this was the last day. So we said our goodbyes, hopped in an Uber and headed to the Austin airport to catch our individual flights to where we live. So what did I learn from this experience? Well, one, I really love the data science community. It's so fun to be a part of. It's fun to participate, it's fun to create content, it's fun to consume content. And I loved meeting these other data science content creators. They were so nice and so smart and so inclusive. It was just a lot of fun. The second thing I think I took away from this trip is to do things that scare you. I was nervous to go to this. I almost like was in the car. I was like, I don't wanna go to this. But I'm so glad that I did because I think I've made some friends that hopefully will last a long time. And I also learned a heck of a lot from it and I don't regret it at all. So do things that scare you. And the third takeaway is YouTube is awesome and I've been underwriting it for a long time. I'm gonna try to give a lot more to this channel because I really like the platform and it's an amazing platform and I hope that I can give a little bit back to what I've gotten from the platform. So I'm gonna take YouTube a lot more serious. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe. I have videos coming out with all of these content creators that I wanna share with you and I don't want you to miss it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the future video.